day, my dudes. So for today, we will talk about uh, enabling the bandwidth control limit sa ating converge uh, modem. Uh, last topic we discussed ay pinag-usapan natin yung pag-enable ng QoS sa inyong internet. But this time, uh, pag-uusapan natin si bandwidth control limit. So, ano na ba itong bandwidth control limit? It refers to a uh, policy or mekanismo na malilimit nyo yung speed ng connection uh, sa given time. So, this can be done through various means such as uh, network devices, gaya ng router and switches and uh, possible din siya through software application that can regulate the amount of traffic that is allowed na makalusot through your network interface. Yan. So medyo technical yung pagka-describe sa bandwidth control limit but in a layman's term so kaya niyang specify na ilimit yung bandwidth na makukuha nung smartphone or tablet or computer you can limit the speed to kbps <laughs> or you can set it at least 1 mbps if you have a 100 mbps of internet connection so that you can assign yourself a higher bandwidth like 90 mbps and you share the other 10 mbps to other users of your internet yan you can do this if you are the one uh, paying paying for the internet of course if you have no share if there's no share coming from others on your internet bill so it's legitimate Uh, exercise of your your internet uh, administration to share your internet speed kung based dun sa sa gusto mo if you are the admin even at uh, sa inyong bahay so pwede mong i-implement ito kung ikaw nga naman yung nagbabayad ng internet so You you can you can do this actually. You can set the limit on the speed that you share to uh, other users. So it depends on you. It's your choice if you want to uh, implement this on your uh, network. Yeah. And anyway. Uh, If uh, we will uh, check the converged modem, like what we did on checking QoS before, so let's quickly open it up and see if the converged modem has the feature for bandwidth control. If we go to advanced settings, we don't see bandwidth control feature. <laughs> Yan. So, like QoS, wala rin tong bandwidth control. Itong modem na bigay ni Converge. Yan. Wala. So, if you want to actually uh, have a bandwidth control feature, you need to buy routers. So like what we discussed, you can uh, do this bandwidth control by uh, by means of a network device. So pili lang kayo ng mga router or smart switch na capable of bandwidth control. Yan. So I have this uh, I have this router from TP-Link. It's 
PL MR150. It has QoS, but sadly, it does not have bandwidth control. So, uh, napansin ko lang yung mga modern na uh, Wi-Fi router is walang walang masyadong feature na bandwidth control. Most of the time, they have the QoS. So, if you want the bandwidth control, you need to buy capable routers with those feature. So, ang weird lang kasi walang bandwidth control na kasama. So, probably because QoS is applicable dun sa mga gusto lang na maging stable yung kanilang work from home, yung kanilang video call or uh, video conference without limiting the the speed of other users if they are not using uh, critical uh, applications so in a way QoS is flexible in terms of maximizing the the internet speed but this bandwidth control is uh, good to implement if Of course, you are the only one uh, paying for the internet, and you get no share from others who use and abuse <laughs> your internet connection by downloading a lot or watching a lot. Uh, anyway, this uh, bandwidth uh, control is available on the TP-Link TLWR841N. And uh, it's cheap. It is 555 pesos. So let's see here. Let's find it. We already have that opened. Okay, this is the sample from Shopee. 555 pesos. If you are interested to uh, use this, Uh, you can buy this and we will just leave the link on the description below and so you can check it here one thing if you would like to have this bandwidth control you must double check the feature just to make sure you get the right router Okay, and the other one, we have the WR940N for the TP-Link. That's 719 pesos. This is faster, 450 Mbps. So, mas mahal siya, 719. Uh, okay, so we can clearly see the feature has bandwidth control. So, malinaw siya. Meron siyang bandwidth control. Yan. So, this is not a sponsored video ni TP-Link. <laughs> FYI. So, we're just uh, reviewing the bandwidth control features of, our ad- of routers in general. You can buy other brands if, uh, if you want a uh, brands like Cisco or Tenda so you can check those brands since this is not a sponsored video <laughs> all right so if uh, you connect the uh, the new newly bought uh, r- routers with uh, bandwidth control so Normally, you connect it like a normal uh, Wi-Fi extender. So, just connect the LAN cables to the converge modem. Connect the other end to this uh, second router. And if you need to check on how to enable bandwidth control, so you can check the manual on how to do that. Uh, But uh, for this video, I have a check on how to set it. Alright, so as we can see on the footage, so 
just go to the settings and click on the bandwidth control so select the IP range yung mga IP address na uh, saan mag mag uh, apply itong bandwidth control yan so uh, madali lang siya yan i-enable nyo lang make sure to check the checkbox to enable it And you can set the minimum uh, and maximum uh, speed. So you can set 1kbps. <laughs> or if you are generous, you can give them 10 mbps. <laughs> yeah. So it's very easy to set up. So just go to your bandwidth control setting. So one tip uh, is not to give your Converge Wi-Fi uh, password if uh, you plan to uh, use this bandwidth control so that uh, if you buy the, the router that has bandwidth control, uh, you can easily put the config and settings there and the IP range. So let them use the speed limited uh, Wi-Fi and you just use the converge Wi-Fi so you can maximize your speed and let the other users connect on the second Wi-Fi so that can that is a good uh, workaround if you are not techy just Make sure to apply the settings for bandwidth control. I hope you find this video informative. Please subscribe and like this video. Have a great day. Bye.